Hello there beautiful people, I hope you're doing well, welcome back again to On How channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you, so if you have any questions or video requests, make sure to drop on below in a comment, and I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back, and please be a witness for that for over 200 now videos on Shopify because they were mostly requested by you guys, I mean subscribers, and some people not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. I still make the video for them, just a like button, that's all I'm asking. Or actually, if you are interested in Shopify customization, you want to learn how to do anything yourself without having to hire a developer, why not subscribe to the channel, man? I don't have anything to sell, I don't sell any courses, never will, I don't have any paid memberships on the channel. So everything I do create, I post it completely free on the channel. It's a win-win situation, but I'll let you decide, it's your decision, now I respect your decision, just a like button if this video helped you out. If it didn't, actually just drop me a comment as I said. I will be happy to provide you the information you need in order to do the thing you're trying to do. And here I am again back with another requested video as always which is how to change the continue shopping link on your Shopify cart page if you want to change the link for it because once the customer clicks on continue shopping it's gonna take them by default it's gonna take them to uh, collection all the products. So if you want to change that link once the customer click on continue shopping it's going to take them to a specific section or a specific page on your Shopify store this video will help you out and without any more talking let's just jump to it as you can see this is the Shopify dashboard and I have here down team which is the one I do demonstrations on because it's the most requested one also it's the most used one but if I scroll down in here I have every other most, most used Shopify teams which is refresh, spotlight, taste, sense and trade and if you are wondering why is that again because I do actually try all my codes behind the scenes on all of these teams so I'd make sure that even if you're not using down team using one of these should work for you just fine and I just have to say this in the beginning so I give you that peace of mind because you're gonna see me doing it on down team and you might be thinking oh maybe it's not working for the others no it is and here is your peace of mind and without the way let's just get to it and show you how to change the continue shopping link on your Shopify store and this is the Shopify store where I do all the tricks so every little thing that you see in the Shopify store literally everything that you see in the Shopify store I did it in tutorials so if you saw anything that you liked and you think it looks good you want to implement it in your store as well then just check out the channel because that video will be already made and posted once you see it here because I don't remove the changes from here I keep them but what I'm talking about let me add some product first I don't have any product in the cart oh yeah all of this again in tutorials including this widget uh, like how to like uh, showing random people random number of people are viewing this product right now because if I reload the page the number changes randomly and you can pick between the numbers I did that in tutorials completely free as well as the shaking effect on the buttons as well as the whatsapp order whatsapp button as was making it's a lot of videos I can't mention them all let me add this product actually so I can show you what I'm talking about this little guy right here we will change the link for it because right now if I clicked on it boom it's gonna take me to the collection all products I want to actually customize that so it's gonna take me to a specific page that I want let me get back in here so obviously we will keep this page open do the trick come back and see it in action so get back to Shopify dashboard after that click on the three dots on left of customize and click on edit code then it will take you to the code editor for your Shopify team and in here we need to find the specific file and instead of looking at the files and folders you might get dizzy or something use the search bar at the top left corner and type in main dash cart dash items just like you see on the screen main dash cart dash items and you will see main dash cart dash items dot liquid click on it bunch of code will show up again inside this code we need to find a specific section and to find that specific section instead of looking at the, co the code like this simply click run uh, on the code just like you want to write something yes yeah, some people will say well just give us the line number no because the line number might change with updates in the future and videos live forever on youtube so i'm going to show you like a, a time proof method so click on the code like this just like you want to write something then hit over on your keyboard if you are using windows click on Control f i'm on mac i'm going to click on command f and it will show me this prompt right here at the bottom of the page and simply in this prompt type in warning 
just like you see warning like warning oh my god warning <laughs> yeah that one so in here you will see card dash warning and if if it didn't show up just click enter on the code the, the section you did type in warning and it will highlight it on the code for you and after that let me close this prompt right here so in here uh, we go into you see the class says button let me zoom in on it so class says button but it's not just one section that we need to change it's actually two sections this is the first section and above it the second section I will make sure to name them as the class first class is button the second class above it is underline link as you can see underline link and in each one of them behind them there is href as you can see href here it is it's highlighted here and between the quotes between these two red quotes there is this line right here as you can see so this line is actually a variable for the link or for the button that's actually continue shopping so inside in here you can actually paste in a link where you want the continue shopping to take the visitors to let me copy this because I might get back to previous versions I'm gonna paste it in here and keep it so as I said we will actually paste in a link in here so we'll get back to Shopify store for demonstration I'm gonna do it on contact us so I'm gonna copy contact us URL so simply copy the link for the page that you want the customers to take and do or actually let me do a collection so let's just do this uh, tag collection oh yeah banner check out the channel again so let me actually copy the link for this copy the whole link for the section or the page sorry that you want the customers to be taken to and I'm going to replace these two you see between the quotes paste them in here simply paste it like this and make sure to paste it uh, up between the quotes do not remove the quotes otherwise it will not work again for the second section where it says href as you can see between the quotes remove the first thing and paste in the link the same link that you want the customer to be taken to now simply click on the save button we will wait for a couple of seconds and if you remember i did set it to tech accessories so let's just access the cart page and now let's just click on continue shopping boom tech accessories not all products anymore so that's how you add actually or change the link for the continue shopping button on the cart page for your Shopify store and if you have any questions make sure to drop on below but for now I think my job is done so thanks for watching catch you on the next one